have you subscribed don't forget to do that subscribe like and share i love you and let love rain be blessed and you can't go smile i couldn't smile at all so i he said please i'm talking to you can i see your id card i was backing him so i turned my friends and said i don't have it and he said okay come with me <laughs> And that was it. That was it. And you know how it is. You don't have to go to your house to pick anything up. Come with me means come with me. And of course, you're heading straight to the police station. And they're going to question and all of it. Of course, you just had to tell the truth. I had to say everything that happened. So, meanwhile, the money I collected... I kept them somewhere in my room. All the money I was gathering, I was just storing them up in my house. You wouldn't imagine. Can you imagine it? You wouldn't just imagine. So I called out. Oh, I, but the prison there, guys, in case you're coming from Nigeria, <laughs> don't even think it has nothing. It has anything that close to the Nigerian prison. The prison there, it's like, oh my gosh. It's a beautiful place. <laughs> you have a beautiful room to yourself, the TV and everything. You know the it. It's just beautiful place. The only punishment to it is that you're not going outside. Like you're not free to just move on the street, but you can move within the environment. You can talk on your phone. You know, it's the the whole freedom is not denied. So I thought it's a beautiful thing. As a matter of fact, there are some people here in Germany that when it's winter they don't like winter so you know what they do to go to prison so they don't come out they don't have a reason to move on the street they just enjoy indoor all through they go to the marketplace and steal from the market so when you steal from the market of course the police is going to lock you up depending on the you know the impediments the amount involved and things like that you'll be locked up in the prison you would stay there you be served your meals as usual as normal and also nice delicacies <laughs> you wouldn't believe it guys so as funny as it might sound that is the truth talking as okay <laughs> as one who has been in nigeria and understand the system and how it runs and how it works so that is the chamney way it's just beautiful so it's not like you're in the prison and having some serious punishment no you're actually there having fun you heard me so that was it but i called this friend of mine whom i have been housing in that house this person has not so this person was not sharing any form of responsibility with me at all i housed this person i feed this person I, I virtually, I take care of everything about the house. So, but now, cause for that time to know whom you're dealing with. Now, there is a problem. I'm not there anymore. And I said to the person, you're like a family and a friend. I kept a certain amount here. Please take that money send it home to my people my family they should keep it for me i'm gonna be deported as so so date i'll go home stranded i need to have something to start you know to start with and thank god i did a good job i saved, I saved so much so much that you won't believe the amount so much that i couldn't even imagine but that's the beauty of savings actually so and then when converted to Naira, the Nigerian money, it was like, whoa, 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 whoa. But you know what happened? Yeah, there was a buster. There was just a buster. The person took the money, went home, established him, estab got so established, like got so, so established. Yeah. Nothing about me on the line, denied everything, got, you know, got into so much businesses, didn't even want to see me again, 
And I came back and called for this person. And this person, first of all, this person denied it. So because I was stranded and to be honest with you, it's not an amount I want to just whistle away just like that. We called meeting, we called for the person, the, the, the parents of this person. My parents were there and the parents of this person had to send for him. He was sent for, he came down. Then he said, the, the, his people asked him, did you take this money? Did this thing happen? Now he couldn't lie to his family. He said, yes. You mean you have such an amount of money belonging to this person? He said, yes. Before everyone, his pe people were like, it's bad. Now you've been using that money for lots of businesses. Bring out the money and give to this person at least half. His own people were against him. But what did he do? Listen. He said, I am not given a dime out. I have the money. I've taken the money. I am not given anything back. I have invested everything. Right now, I have no cash at hand. And I can't do anything. And the person was asked, so what do you expect of this? What, how do you want now that... She starts, what do you want? I, say, I don't know, but I can't do anything. I'm not giving out a dime. I have the money. I wouldn't deny it. And that's that. And you know what? This person stood up and left. And gosh, I was just, I was so super. I was just so disappointed. So disappointed. So, so downcast. So so downtrodden so i can't even explain it it was so hurtful then came the advice of friends and everyone around what are you waiting for come on come on come on don't don't what what does he think it is just pay some tags a few cash and they will so deal with him he will look for his life tomorrow he won't even find it not like <sighs> another will say what what are you waiting for are you just going to let this person have his way just like that? Write his name. Go and put his name in Alose. Now, Alose is an idol. Uh, you know, this idol. You know, this from the pagans. Put his name there. It will so deal with him. In fact, he will run mad. That money, he wouldn't even live to eat it. A lot of things and all like. Oh my goodness, I was so confused. I didn't know what to do. Another one said, what are you waiting for? Aren't you a child of God? Go to the church, take his name, put it on the altar of God. God will so deal with him. God will so deal with him. He will know what he got himself into. Hence his guilty. He will not escape the wrath of God. Write his name, take it to the altar altar put it on the altar of god i didn't know what to do i didn't know who's smart to follow then my father advised and said leave him you will not die god who allowed you to get to this extent would do it again now this is where i'm coming from and this is where i'm coming to a lot of times, a lot of times we face different situations. It could be something similar to this. It could be something worse than this. It could be just something like this or something, you know, relative to this. Now, the thing is, when you go through certain hard times, be wise what you take to. Be wise what you, whose voice you yield to. Be wise and slow down to taking a very quick action against the offender. Be careful. Be cautious. Because these people that advise you, not every one of them means well. And the thing is, it's you who's going to take this action. 
And so it's you who's going to be responsible for these actions. So it's always very good to be careful and tread cautiously. I took to, I took to my father's advice. I did nothing. Yeah. Initially, the feeling was like, he stood his ground, did this, and feels nothing would happen. So I felt like he made me feel helpless. It was hurtful. But I, I took to my father's advice. I did nothing. I just said, God would judge. I've always had a good heart, nothing but a good heart towards you. And you chose to do this. I handed it to God and that was all. I moved on. I started again. And that's life for you. And yes, I've gotten there again and even much more. Yeah. So it's it's what God does. It's it's what he can do. When you face things, be careful of the advice you take. Be careful of whom you relate to. Be careful of whom you take from. You know, concerning be careful because at the end of it all is still your story it's still about you it's still your decision it's still your making it's still you it's still your responsibility you will not say i did this because this person felt this way because this person asked me to it's still you who's gonna have that final say so be careful when you come to dealing with delicate matters like this i call it delicate because it's delicate let me know in the comment section below what you think of my experience let me know your your experience thank you for watching don't forget to share this encourage someone else that tomorrow is always brighter and greater than yesterday yes you are blessed yes you can be great again yes the beautiful ones and the beautiful things of life are always there for you before you and with you have you subscribed don't forget to do that subscribe like and share i love you and let love reign be blessed and you conquer bye